If you saw my last video about saving money on fuel by keeping your tires properly inflated, I really hope that's a habit that uh, you've gotten into with your vehicle. If you haven't seen that video, there's a link to it in the uh, description below so you can see it later on at your convenience. But there's much more that we can all do to save money on fuel, especially at a time when the war in Ukraine has all of us paying top dollar for gasoline and diesel. In this video, I'll share with you my top 10 tips for saving fuel, and here they are. Number 10, avoid jackrabbit starts. The heavier your foot, the more fuel you're gonna use. So accelerate gently from a red light or a stop sign. Drive as though you have a, a cup of hot coffee in your hand, there's no lid on it, and you don't wanna spill any of that coffee on your lap. Number nine, go steady. Once you get up to speed, whether that's on a city road or on a highway, try to maintain a steady speed rather than accelerating to catch up with the traffic ahead, only to slam on the brakes to slow down again, and then doing that over and over and over again. And on longer trips, consider taking advantage of the cruise control to keep your speed as steady as possible. Number eight, slow down. The faster you go, the more wind resistance you have to deal with. According to Transport Canada, most cars, vans, pickup trucks, and SUVs are most fuel efficient when they're traveling between 50 to 80 kilometers per hour, that's 30 to 50 miles per hour for our American audience, and above these speeds, vehicles use increasingly more fuel the faster they go. Now on the highway, you can keep your speed at about 100 kilometers an hour, or about 60 miles per hour, rather than 120 kilometers an hour, which really is common and normal on Canadian highways. Why? Well, Transport Canada says that by lowering your speed from 120 to 100, you're saving about 20% on fuel, and today that's a lot. Number seven, don't idle. According to Transport Canada, the average vehicle with, let's say, a three liter engine wastes about 300 milliliters or more than one cup of fuel for every 10 minutes that it idles. So depending on the size of your engine, they're using three liters here as their basis for their calculations. If you idle for a half hour a day, for example, you're burning about a liter or a quarter gallon of extra fuel a day for nothing. Number six, lose some weight. The more stuff you've got in your back seat or cargo area, the harder your vehicle has to work to move it and the more fuel you're gonna burn. So if you're in the habit of keeping your hockey equipment or a golf bag in the, in the trunk, um, just in case a hockey game breaks out on the way to the grocery store or, or your buddy asks you to play a, a, a round of golf when you least expect it, don't. Just get rid of it. The lighter the vehicle, the better your fuel economy. Now, according to Transport Canada, the fuel consumption of a mid-sized car increases by about 1% for every 25 kilos or 55 pounds of weight that you carry. Number five, rid yourself of racks. If you're not planning on using your bike rack or cargo carrier today, then just remove it. Put it in storage until you're actually gonna need it. That rack is messing with your aerodynamics and creating unnecessary drag, which in turn means more fuel to keep your vehicle moving. Number four, embrace the heat. Air conditioning can increase a vehicle's consumption by as much as 20%. So if you can get by with uh, an open window or sunroof, then consider turning it off. Unless of course you just can't take the heat like me, in which case I'm willing to pay for the luxury. Number three, embrace the cold. I know I just said you should embrace the heat, but according to the US Department of Energy, there's a time to open your windows and there's a time to run your AC. Now their advice is this, to roll the windows down at lower speeds but use the AC at highway speeds. They also advise don't use the AC more than needed or set the temperature lower than necessary. Number two, plan your route. One of the tools companies that manage, uh, manage fleets of vehicles employ in order to limit fuel consumption for their trucks is route planning. In other words, figure out where you need to be during a given day and then plan your route so that you limit unnecessary travel. For example, Run all the errands you need to in one part of town and then head off to another part of town and run all the errands you need to in that part of town instead of zigzagging across the city back and forth, wasting fuel. And number one, drive less. Now this might seem like a bit of a cop-out or a no-brainer, but the best way to cut fuel costs is not to use your vehicle at all. 
So if you can walk or bike to your destination, consider doing so. Public transit, as well as carpooling with a coworker or a friend, are other ways that you can limit the use of your vehicle. Until fuel prices come back down, I hope these tips will help you uh, save at the pumps. After all, when, when prices are this high, every little bit helps. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you the next time we talk tires. Thank you.